if your lithium iron phosphate battery suddenly stops working or won't charge, most likely it's not broken. It's your BMS doing its job. Now let's talk about the BMS, how it works, and why it's essential for your lithium iron phosphate battery. We'll talk about what a BMS does or how it works, real world behavior that you've probably seen but you didn't quite understand. BMS stands for Battery Management System. You can think of it as the brain and bodyguard of your battery pack. Its responsibilities monitor your cell voltages, monitor your current and temperature, and it makes decisions, pre-programmed decisions, to allow charging and discharging, and cut off charging and discharging. This is pretty much what your battery looks like inside. This is a 4S configuration for a 12.8 volt nominal lithium iron phosphate battery. Four cells fired in series, connected to the BMS, and you got your balance leads, your main negative, and your main positive. The BMS reads the information coming from the cells, the temperature of the entire battery. It makes a decision based on the data gathered. Let's talk about its key protections. Under voltage. If the battery gets down to about 10 volts, which is 2.5 volts per cell, the BMS will shut down to protect the cells. Most users just see a dead battery, but just entered something called low voltage lockout. Over voltage protection kicks in when the battery is in a higher state of charge, about 14.6 volts. In the lithium iron phosphate battery, 3.65 volts per cell. Could be set lower in the BMS, but most BMSs and chargers are set to 14.6. So when it reaches 14.6, the BMS cuts charging. Temperature. A decent BMS and a decent battery has got low temp protection, which keeps it from charging below zero degrees Celsius. Some BMSs even shut down below 5 degrees Celsius. This cuts off the charging, but the discharging will still work. So you've got your high temp protection, which pretty much every battery has, kicks in at about 60 degrees Celsius. It reaches 60 degrees Celsius means no discharging, no charging, no nothing until the temp temperature drops. Overcurrent and short circuit protection. If the battery is drawing too much current, you can say 100 amp BMS trying to draw 300 amps, it will shut off. 100 amp BMSs usually got a amperage spike it can handle, but if it's too much, it will cut off. Recommend reading the information provided by your dealer to get to know your battery and its limitations. If the overcurrent protection were to kick in, the BMS will most likely fix itself over time. But with cheaper BMSs with low tolerance, it could lead to a dead battery and you will have to swap out your BMS. So in a so short circuit sit situation where you somehow short out your battery, it's the overcurrent protection kicking in. Cell balancing. 
your cells in a battery pack will naturally drift apart in voltage. The BMS will keep them balanced at an equal voltage. It could be a passive balancer in the BMS, trickle chargers and shifts the voltage from a higher voltage cell to a lower voltage cell. Without this balancing, one cell can overcharge or under undercharge and the battery will be damaged. Important note is that the BMS will not start to balance your lithium ion phosphate cells until it reaches about a 90% state of charge, which is why you should not set your lithium ion phosphate battery to charge to 80% or less. Charge it to 100% to make sure you balance your battery pack every so often. Sometimes you will, you will find that your battery reads zero volts and you come to the conclusion that your battery is dead. Most likely it's not dead, it's protected. It will need a charger that can uh, poke it back on, which most smart chargers can do. If it won't charge, try, try a different charger or check the temperature of the battery and for troubleshooting if it turns off under load try reducing the load and be sure to check your BMS specifications for the battery so to recap the BMS is your battery's bodyguard all right it protects from overcharging over discharging temperature and more. If your battery shuts off, it's probably not dead, it's, it's just being smart. If you found that there's no way you can revive your battery, a DIY way is to swap out the BMS, which is a pretty simple thing to do. If you want to get an idea of how a battery looks like inside with the BMS and the whole configuration, you should check out one of my tear down videos and reviews of different lithium ion phosphate batteries. All right. If you liked this video or found it helpful in any way, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out my beginner friendly guide to an off grid solar power system on Amazon. Sign up for the newsletter to get a free DIY solar checklist. Be sure to check out these two videos next because YouTube really wants you to.